Hey everyone, this is Will from Atlassian. And in this video, we're gonna take a look around in Jira Work Management so that you can get up to speed on how you can get started quickly and also better understand how Jira Work Management can help your team start delivering work more effectively. Let's take a look. To start a new project, we'll click right here and we'll choose from one of the many project templates that Jira Work Management comes with. For this example, we'll select the content management template. Now feel free to customize this project as you go with your own issue types, workflows, custom fields, and more. We have videos that dive into these topics a bit deeper, um, but take a look at those to understand customization and project views and other ways to customize your project. Now, once you're in your project, take a look at it in several different perspectives by toggling between these views up here. There's not much in here at the moment since we just started it, but this is the board view that it defaulted us to. But in addition to this, you can see your issues in a list view, uh, on a calendar, or in a timeline to stay on top of what matters most. This summary view also gives you a really good project insight into various aspects of your project's health as well. Now, since we're just getting started here, let's go ahead and add our first task. Our team needs to publish a blog announcing some upcoming structural changes and highlight our goals for the coming quarter. So we'll link this task after it's created directly to a Confluence page where the team is collaborating on this blog, detailing what we need to include and who's responsible for each aspect of the publication. Now, as you make progress, status changes will appear in our project, of course, and since we can add JIRA issues to Confluence pages, status changes will also be reflected in this linked Confluence page, so we can keep everyone informed without adding a bunch of additional status meetings or pings. Now, let's go ahead and bring in our team. We can invite stakeholders to our project to keep everyone on the same page and move towards our goals together. But JIRA isn't just for your singular team, it's for your entire organization. For example, if your software engineers are working out of JIRA, you can easily add their release dates directly in our calendar here. And if our work depends on the software engineers delivering a particular release, any changes that they make to their release dates will be reflected here dynamically so that we have the latest information. We can also click into the release and then even deeper into the specific issues that comprise this release if we need more granular information about its progress. So these various views uh, for our project are great, but sometimes you need to see aggregate project data from multiple different teams. And that's where this overview feature comes in handy. We can create an overview and add multiple projects to it. And now we can see these familiar views that we talked about earlier, but they include not just our project, but data from any other related projects as well, giving us a fuller picture of how all this work is connected. Jira Work Management also helps streamline back and forth between teams. By creating a form in your project, you get a reliable way to receive intake requests from other sources. So instead of multiple Slack messages, emails, or other kind of incomplete channels, you can create these forms that detail exactly what you need from them so that you can get started right away. Now, automation is another very powerful tool in Jira Work Management. With this rule builder, you can automate any number of things in your project, removing menial tasks and minimizing human error. Now, we'll have another more detailed look at automation in another video, but I wanted to at least mention it here since it is such a powerful feature. If we want to share this board elsewhere, we can use these handy smart links in a few interesting ways. First, we can add users here, and this will send a link to our board to these users via email. But even more interesting, we can copy this link here and embed this elsewhere, like in Confluence. Now, this board will update dynamically as we make changes back in Jira Work Management, giving up-to-date information to anyone viewing this Confluence page. And one last call out, our marketplace offers hundreds of integrations and extensions for Jira Work Management. So here we can see the apps from a marketplace that are already present in this project. And to explore, add, or remove apps from your site, an admin can access this page in settings where you can easily manage your existing apps uh, or search for new ones based on category or keywords to find exactly what you need. Now that you know the basics about Jira Work Management, feel free to check it out for yourself by starting a free trial. And look for other videos in this series where we explore these topics in more detail. Thanks.